this case, we can also observe a periodic spikes which are so narrow and have a poor field, which suggests they are not physiological. In the later of the trace, we can see the electrical pulse also with poor field. The pulse often suggests poor attachment of the electrode. So if we look at the inferior one, the specs are coincident with photic stimulation. Don't mistake them as photic drives. They are photoelectric waves from direct reaction to the electrode and the light. This is an interesting example from a case report. Most of the background are nearly isoelectric, except uh, apparently alpha waves in the right parasitical traces. Of course, we can identify them as artifacts because it's regularity in the poor field. But what are they at all? This is also a trick by adjusting the paper speed and the high frequency filter. If we restore the settings, we can see our criminal. They are the 60 Hz artifacts from the environment. The most important lesson is, if you have a novelty and a courage, you can have the publication in a great journal. There are some what we call them modern artifacts. Here is a long tracing of a EEG, which can tell a story. Can you guess it? In the first part, we can see slow background mixed with some alpha activities. Because in the end of the EEG, we can also notice higher frequency activities. The first part may be a physiological slowing. For example, a sleep EEG. Next, we move to the artifact. It can be divided by a slower prelude and a more intense following. Actually, they are a mobile phone ringing and the electromagnetic waves before the ringing. The subject was scared by the phone during sleep, had a large body motion, and started to talking. So we can see the growth of kinetic artifacts from the top movement, as I said before. Another modern art electric product related artifacts are shown in this EEG. If we notify you, if I notify you that the subject is reading an, iP an iPad, what do you think? The frontal synchronized activity suggests they may be eye, movement, eye movements. It's a symmetry in bilateral temporal tracing suggesting they are more likely to be horizontal eye movements. However, the shaft is quite strange. With a slower rising face and a fast falling face, they are eye pursuits and saccades because the subjects are reading literatures in the device. So let's take a brief summary. The table was modulated from lessons of EEG normal variance and abnormal discharges. Now we try to divide our artifacts by their frequency and location. Frequency higher than beta waves usually originated from ENG, and the location depends on which muscle is activating. The frequency of EKG range from beta to alpha. They have a quite regular interval and are maximal in the temporal region. Delta waves in the frontal region suggest grosso kinetic waves, while delta waves are usually eye movement. Electrical motion may produce artifacts in any location, but is more common in the occipital region in long-term monitoring because of lying. A far more slower artifacts may us think of sweating, especially when we when they look like a sausage. To 
to eliminate the artifact, EEG graver must be familiar with the EEG settings, including montages, filters, sensitivity, and speed. Several artifacts intelligence have been developed to deal with EEG artifacts. Some may have a hypothesis based, as in regression model, and some may without hypothesis, as in component analysis and SVM. In either methods, the EEG grabber must be confident to know whether the EEG comes from the brain or outside the brain. This is the final slide. Reading EEG is so interesting, and you may try different strategies to read. You may read them without knowing any information, and try to get as many clues as you can, just like a true detective. You may also see the chief complaint and try to answer the primary physicians and solve their questions. I think this method is most time-saving. You may also get all details of the subjects, including history, image, laboratory data, and then check the EEG so that you can find some trivial features that you never knew it before. Actually, these are what I did as daily practice. Thanks very much for your attention.